the headlines. Donald Trump has flown back to Florida after being charged with criminal offenses in a court in Manhattan. This is The Scene Live. He pleaded not guilty to 34 charges of falsifying business records to conceal criminal conduct from U.S. voters. The legal team representing the first U.S. president to face felony charges say their client is being unjustly singled out. Everyone is not above the law, no one's below it either. And if this man's name was not Donald J. Trump, there is no scenario we'd all be here today. New York's district attorney defended his decision to treat Mr. Trump like any other potential criminal. These are felony crimes in New York State, no matter who you are. We cannot and will not normalize serious criminal conduct. To Brussels, where earlier on Tuesday, NATO welcomed Finland into its security alliance, making it the 31st member. Finland's accession doubles the length of member states' borders with Russia, and it's a setback for Russian President Vladimir Putin. He had repeatedly complained of NATO's expansion before his full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Our defense correspondent Jonathan Beal has more from Brussels. A near-perfect day at NATO headquarters to welcome its newest member. Finland only applied a year ago, soon after Russia's invasion of Ukraine and approved in record time, despite Moscow's warnings about NATO expansion. This sends a clear message that every nation has the right to choose its own path, that NATO's door remains open and no one can close it with force or coercion. Welcome to the Alliance. NATO membership brings with it security guarantees. An attack on one is seen as an attack on all. It's why Ukraine wants to join NATO. But for now, like these supporters, it's being kept outside. Finland is also a neighbor of Russia, but until now, avoided picking sides. The era of uh, military non-alignment in our history has uh, come to an end. A new era begins. Finland brings with it a modern, well-equipped armed forces who've already trained with NATO allies. They're small, but they can also call on more than 200,000 reserves. But Finland also creates a challenge. Its border with Russia stretches more than 800 miles. Overnight, NATO's frontier with Russia has more than doubled, and the alliance must be ready to defend it if threatened. The treaty that founded NATO was signed on this day 74 years ago. Then there were just 12 members. Now there are 31, with the flag of Finland, the latest standing outside NATO's headquarters. President Putin, before the war in Ukraine, said he wanted less of NATO on his borders. But what he's ended up with is a lot more. Israel. Russia's war in Ukraine has dramatically altered European security in a way it never intended. Today, the Kremlin denounced NATO's move as an escalation. But with its own forces tied down in a grinding war of attrition, it can't prevent NATO expansion. Sweden is expected to join next. Jonathan Beale, BBC News, Brussels.